Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to the course uh, corrosion. Today we are going to have our lecture number 23. So, in last lecture we started discussing uh, we uh, discussing on nickel H 2 O system and then we could draw a pore bay diagram involving nickel, nickel plus plus and an IO and the diagram looked like so, this is pH axis, this is E in volt unit, this is one was nickel, this was nickel plus plus and this region was, this was NiO, where if we extend this line, this line if we extend, the point would be 0 0.11 volt and this was minus 25 0 point volt and this pH was 6.09. And we could also see why different regions, how can we, how, how can we make sure that this region belongs to nickel, this region belongs to NiO and this region belongs to Ni plus plus. And this also talks about the stability of those phases in those region in that E versus pH diagram. Moreover, each line indicates the equilibrium between Ni plus plus for example, this line indicates Ni plus plus and Ni this line indicates N i and N i o and this line indicates N i plus plus and N i o. Moreover, we could also see that some lines are potential independent. For example, this line belongs to potential independent. Then we have one line which is parallel to the pH axis. That means, it becomes potential uh, pH independent, but potential dependent as we have seen that this was drawn as a when nickel ion concentration was 1, this is also belong to N i plus plus activity equal to 1. Then only we could get 0 0.25 volt and we could see that if we change the activity of nickel plus plus from 1 to 10 to the minus 1, 10 to the minus 2 like that. So, this line would go down and interestingly another important aspect is when we draw these lines according to the reactions what we have stated earlier, we have to fix a nickel ion concentration. Now, if we fix this activity to be 1, then for this line, for this line we have to also see the activity of nickel ion concentration should be 1. Now, if we change it to 10 to the minus 6, then this line also needs to be changed to 10 to the minus 6. So, it will be valid for a particular nickel ion concentration. So, this has to be fixed first and then we need to draw all three lines. Now, here if we could see that uh, uh, if we put it in a red, uh, red color, let us say let me choose a color, uh, let us say this red color. If we choose that color, so this uh, region I could see nickel plus plus we could we, we can get nickel plus plus if we remain any potential and voltage uh, potential and pH coordinate in this particular section this particular uh, this particular section uh, covered by this particular boundary okay we would at any coordinates for example any coordinate n i plus plus and n i plus plus formation is nothing but corrosion that means, ions if we get ions of that particular metal, then it is actually dissolving in the solution 
water based solution because it is containing H 2 O and that means corrosion. Now, if we consider a boundary, let us say if we have this boundary, this boundary, there we get nickel and as per our convention in this region, we have least presence of N i plus plus. That means, nickel remains as nickel. So, we call this particular zone as immune zone and now the earlier zone we used to call it corrosion zone. Now, there is one more zone which is covered by this zone where we have N i O and interestingly we had a problem where we tried to see uh, what is the what is basically the tendency of nickel to get corroded in the water system. There we considered N i O H, but here it is N i O. Now interestingly N i O if we take N i O and H 2 O, N i O plus H 2 O equal to N i O H whole 2. This also settles down, this also settles down because they have very low solubility product. Now, when it settles down that time if that if it settles down on the nickel substrate then we have a covering of the nickel surface for the time being let us put in this fashion that if we have a nickel substrate on that substrate if we have this particular phase formation or this particular phase formation we get a covering of that particular nickel surface and then the nickel surface exposed to the water system water or electrolyte will be limited. So, the corrosion tendency of nickel will be sluggish. Though nickel corrosion is taking place depending on the solubility of nickel plus plus ion and 2 OH minus ion. So, depending on that the solubility will decide how much nickel plus plus ion would exist in the solution, but that solubility would be so low. So, the nickel ion presence would be so low. So, that time we call it as passivation. So, we call it passivation. So, this zone we call it passive zone. So, this is immune and this zone is corrosion. So, we have three zones specified according to the calculations what we have. In this zone we have immune that means nickel remains as nickel no corrosion would take place. In this zone we have that means we could say from this diagram that the corrosion of nickel would be a spontaneous process that means more and more nickel ion would form. And here NiO or NiOH when it forms that time they try to make a deposit on the nickel substrate and the solubility of that particular deposit will decide the nickel ion dissolution rate, nickel dissolution rate and that dissolution rate would be much lower than the dissolution rate what we can ex experience in this particular zone. So, we call it a passive zone. So, we decide three zones. immune, corrosion and passive. In fact, we can have such diagrams for many other metals and coming to this particular phase, since we have done the calculation on the basis of chemical potential of N i O, we can have also the same plot if we consider N i O H. So, that time we have to take two more equations that time we will not consider N i O formation N i plus 2 H 2 O equal to N i O H whole 2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 E one reaction. And if we do the calculation 
we would see that the calculation would generate the same line what we see here. The same line it will generate the same line if we fix the concentration of nickel ion. Now, here the nickel ion is not coming into picture. So, only thing is it will be decided by potential which will be E 0 plus R T 2 F L n ox by red. So, this is activity of ox activity of red and here ox is nothing but N i O H whole 2 activity and activity of H plus square and this one would be equal to activity of N i activity of H 2 O square. And if you do the same calculations because if you take the chemical potential value of N i O H whole 2 which is nothing but minus 4 5 2 6 9 4 joule per mole you will generate the same equation what we had for this reaction. what we had for this reaction. So, they here we had if we go back you will see that this value would be 0 0.11 minus 0 0.0591 pH. Here also you will get the same value let us do that calculation. So, that time delta Z 0 would be mu 0 because we have to consider this way because we have to write ox plus E equal to red mu 0 n i plus 2 mu 0 h 2 o minus mu 0 n i o h whole 2 minus mu 0 h plus and 2 electrons are involved. So, this is 0 this is minus uh, 2 into 2 3 6 9 6 4 point 2 this is this will become plus 4 5 2 6 9 4 this going to be this is going to be minus 0. So, E 0 would be equal to. So, here this is minus 2 1 2 3 4.4 4, n is equal to 2 and f equal to 9 6 5 0 0 and with a minus sign. So, this becomes 0 0.11 volt. So, you for this reaction you get E 0 like this and E would become 0 0.11 minus if you do the simplification this goes to 1, this goes to 1, this goes to 1. So, you are left with this quantity. So, this 2, 2 will get cancelled. So, finally, you would get the same pH same equation. So, these two are getting the same equation. So, that means, this line would be similar to N i O H whole 2 if we form N i O H whole 2 instead of NIO. And if you, you want to do calculation for the uh, vertical line, so if you draw the if you try to see the vertical line also this is NIOH fold 2 and NI this line gives the E equal to 0 0.11 minus 0 0.0591 pH and this line would be same as uh, for this reaction. So, if you try to de, try to see the vertical line, so the new reaction would be N i plus 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 2 H 2 O equal to N i O H whole 2 plus 2 H plus it will give you the same equations. Let us get back to the equation, you will get the same equation like this minus 2 P H 2 P H plus log a n i plus plus you will get the same equation 
what we gotten for this reaction. For this reaction we got the same equation, I want you to try it out from the k. So, you have to find out k, k value. So, the log k equal to 0 delta z 0 by 2.303 into r into t. So, if you follow that and you have to find out delta z 0 for this reaction. So, delta d 0 you find out from mu 0 n i o h whole 2 plus 2 mu 0 h plus minus mu 0 n i plus plus minus 2 mu 0 h 2 o you would get the same equation. So, that means, whether you write n i o or n i o h these lines would be same because provided you are fixing the n i plus plus ion concentration you have to fix that. So, that is what you are getting main crux is you are trying to plot the corrosion zone, immunity zone and passive zone, but this pore bay diagram is not complete if you do not put the equations or the reactions which involve no metals rather than oxygen dissolve oxygen, hydrogen evolution, hydrogen H 2, H plus and O H minus of course, there will be water. So, I mean to say that this particular phase, this diagram, this uh, uh, E versus P H diagram, this should be complete once we include water reaction involving O 2, H 2, H plus O H minus and H 2 O. So, let us do that. In fact, we have seen before if you see the earlier lectures we have done it. Now, we will just mention those equations and then accordingly we try to plot them. Now, if we write down those equation first is acidic and then neutral or basic. So, this is p h less than 7 and here p h greater than equal to 7. So, there are two types of reactions one is and in that two types we have two reactions each one is h plus plus 2 e equal to h 2 where the equation would be minus 0 0.059 p h where E 0 equal to 0 2 O 2 plus 4 H plus plus 4 E equal to 2 H 2 O and here you see that only H plus ions are involved. So, there E equal to 1.227 minus 0 0.059 P H and on the other side we have 2 H 2 O plus 2 e equal to h 2 plus 2 o h minus and for this e equal to minus 0 0.827 minus plus 0 0.059 p o h why this term is coming for this reaction if you do the calculation delta z 0 would be mu 0 h 2 plus 2 mu 0 h minus minus 2 mu 0 h 2 o and then here two electrons are involved. So, E 0 would be delta z 0 minus 2 into 96500 0 if you do that calculation because already you know the values of this you just go back earlier uh, lectures and then find out what are the values. So, let me uh, iterate the same value once again. So, mu 0 o h minus equal to minus 157 147.1 joule 
and mu 0 h 2 equal to minus 2 3 6 9 6 4 point 2 joule per mole and of course, this quantity is 0 and you get minus 0 0.827. Now, interestingly here it is P O H because E equal to E 0 plus 0 0.0591 by 2 and then activity of uh, that log H 2 O if we put it in concentration term uh, P H 2 and O H minus whole 2. So, this is maintained at 1 atmosphere the pressure of hydrogen gas is 1 atmosphere this is 1 it is a pure substance and so it becomes E equal to E 0 plus 0 0.059 minus log of O H minus uh, this is nothing but E 0 plus 0 0.059 P O H where P O H equal to minus log of O H minus ion. Then if you do the simplification then you would get E equal to E 0 minus 0 0.0591 14 minus P H. So, where P H plus P O H equal to 14. So, E equal to 0 0.827 minus and sorry this was plus this should be plus because plus 0 0.0591 P O H. So, P O H equal to 14 minus P H. So, that is what you have put here. So, this becomes plus 0 0.0591 into 14 minus 0 0.0591 P H you will see that these two quantities would could cancel. So, it becomes 0 0.0591 pH. So, now this acidic side basic side this is the basic side where pH equal to greater than 7, but on the basic acid side this is the basic and neutral side less than 7 for the first reaction. we had the same equation. So, that means, they will be lying on the same line, but one starts from 7 on the right side in the pH axis, one, star, one, one starts one this reaction would start below 7 pH and this reaction this reaction come involving H 2 O. this reaction would start when pH is equal to or greater than 7. Now, we had another reaction which is O 2 plus 4 H plus plus 4 E equal to 2 H 2 O. There the equation 1.227 minus 0 0.0591 pH and here this side also we had another reaction involving oxygen plus 2 H 2 O plus 4 E equal to 4 O H minus. In this case the equation would become E 0 minus plus 0 0.0591 P O H. If you follow the same uh, philosophy what we have done for this equation, then you convert this, this particular value would be 0 0.401 and then 0 0.0591 into 14 minus 0 0.0591 pH. So, if you add them you would get the value which is 227 roughly 
minus 0 0.0591 pH. So, you have the same equation what we had for the acidic reactions. Now, if we would like to plot all those two reactions, so in this Pobe diagram E versus pH, this value is 0 and then up to 7 pH, we have H 2 and then if we extend it that time it will be 2 H 2 O plus 2 e equal to H 2 O plus O H minus 2. Similarly, if we consider this reaction, this is 7 pH, they will be parallel because both the cases the slope is 0 0.0591, so 1.227 volt and then on the right side, this would be the only equation for this would be O2 plus 2H2O plus 4E equal to OH 4 OH minus and on this side it will be two H two O. Now these particular four lines are to be clubbed with the nickel Pobe diagram, nickel those lines, then it will be a